Man. Listen, guys, this the writer of this Ant-Man movie, uh, Jeff Loveness, is on my last nerve. I'm terrified of this man. And you should be too. Hopefully by the end of this discussion or just even just seeing this quote from him, besides all the other stuff that I've done covering this trash garbage writer for the MCU, who's going to be a phase five writer who's writing Avengers, the Kang dynasty. That movie's doomed, by the way. Uh, I think we need to stop him ASAP, bro, because he said some really blasphemic things. Let's get to it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Ant Man writers a menace to society. You remember this ugly thing here? Yeah. Fans don't like that thing. Fans don't like that he's a joke. Fans are saying, yo, we think Modoc should have been a villain in a serious nature. That's what it should have been. Fans are not. And he's saying, freak you, fans. Modoc is Modoc. Saddle Ward is in the building. BG4 is here. Four. Shout out to you guys, man. So here's what's being said. In an interview with Vital Thrills, Ant-Man and the Watts Quantumania writer Jeff Loveness shared his feelings on MODOK while standing firm on the MCU's adaptation of the villain. When asked if a variant of Corley Stahl's main villain might show up as an Avenger, Loveness promised that if he did, he will be even stupider. The Avengers King Dynasty scribe stated that he refuses to listen to the fans. Here's what he said. Uh, if they're going to do it, when asked if he'll do a serious adaptation of, of, of uh, Crane, he said, uh, if I say yes, I promise you he'll be even stupider. I refuse to listen to the fans on this. I will not make MODOK serious. As long as I'm alive, they're not going to get that serious adaptation that those four fans want. He'll be a big dumbhead. That's all. Mm. One thing he's right on is about the four fans of MODOK, but in a serious note, who the freak do you think you are? This is a madman. The whim of a madman. You can't trust nothing this guy says. Or maybe you should probably bank on what he's saying. You think he's telling the truth? I do. He said he's going to be a big dumbhead. What are These are the, this is how you talk, my nigga? A big dumbhead. I promise you he'll be even stupider. I ain't the smartest mother freaker in the world. But I don't think stupider is a word. Now, I'm going to go to the what I think the most uh, uh, intellectual guy in the room is when it comes to academics and, and the English language. I'm going to go to BG4 on this one, man. Hey, BG4, is stupider a word, my G, or am I tripping? I think in the unabridged version, you might get it there now. Or if you're just writing it constantly in your phone your phone says oh yeah you think stupider is a word so i'm gonna just let you think stupider is a word now i thought you had but to say like even more stupid yes right stupider a writer who masters words for a living but um with a three-year-old's vocabulary no nah, i think i've heard stupider <laughs> before but i wouldn't necessarily use it it's always it's it's quite stupid that's dumb that's that's stupid more than usual and something like that but anyways yeah this this guy and his take on modoc is just god awful what, what, what do you say to somebody who's just so like, it's one thing being a bad writer, but then saying, I think I did a great job. I, I don't understand why people don't like it. In fact, you guys don't like Modoc, he's going to be even more stupider, and he's going to be a big dumbhead. What do you do with somebody who thinks and talks like that, even if it's sarcastic? Why would you even say things like this when you're being critiqued? Start making videos towards the people who actually gave him this damn job to try to get him out of that position because that's not what MODOK is, especially if they're trying to sell future things such as what up, Andy? Uh, Dr. Doom coming along. I mean, I mean, the things that Doom and MODOK did together, they were definitely of not any stupider, you know, situations. They were pretty damn smarter than anybody <laughs> else. <there. laughs> so, Bro. You know, that's that's just a crazy thing in this is in, like in what it's going almost on right unbelievable with like for it for a writer to say things like this bro and say it with such confidence let me see what else he said instead it was director Peyton Reed's idea though Lovin has admitted that he immediately jumped on that idea so now we're getting into the director here the writer wrote the trash and agreed with it the director said we should make Kang stupider and a big dumb head I can so they're both kind of whack. I can understand it. Based on their logic 
Ant-Man is supposed to be this hero that's not necessarily taken seriously, so why not just make the other characters in the film not as serious? But you gotta pick the right characters, and these weren't the right characters. This was not one of the characters to actually do that with. It's just not fair. Um, gosh, it's just gonna make me say stupid. Really. $10 donation The Great Expanse. Shout out to you, Great Expanse, by John Bat 426 He says, Jeff, Jeff Loveness. His, his name is freaking crazy, too. He says, Jeff Loveness. If I can get it. Got the job by writing for Rick and Morty. Not even anything comic book related or movie related. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That he's a Mick and Rick and Morty writer, which is, I heard about that ever since the first weekend Ant-Man came out. People were like, he's a Mick and Morty, a Rick and Morty writer. And I looked into it, yeah, he, he wrote episodes of Rick and Morty. That's what that's where he gets his stuff from. Uh, John Wilberforce says, Jeff Loveness, more like Jeff Loveless. Sad, what you think, bro? Uh, I think that um, it's stuck. It, it, we're we're in a bad place. Some people don't think we're, the MCU is in a bad place, bro. I get comments all day. You're hating on the MCU, Jody. I just don't like the MCU right now. When you, Why I gotta be a hater? When you hire people that don't love are. the art form, they don't. You know, he's obviously never heard of Murdoch Modoc before, and, or he thought it was stupid. If you don't respect, you know, if you don't, you know what I mean? It's girls that don't respect jocks, but they still want to date the jock for the money, had a baby for the money. But at the end yeah, of the day, yeah, she yeah. thinks he's just a big, dumb paycheck. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't like Mordoc's Mordex, Mordex, design, his name, his acronym. Would he say that to the guy that created Modoc? You know what I mean? I don't think he would, bro. I don't do you have would. that? Do you have that ability? How how vain do you have to be in order to? I like I don't like Superman in red and blue. Let me make him black and green. Like that's where a, does the line get drawn? That's exactly what's happening here. He's a he's a, a com comedy writer. He wants to get his own rocks off at anybody's expense, at the expense of the good at the of the movie. And the director obviously didn't respect the villain either. Y'all ran out of villains, okay? And. You know, y'all adding this formula. They still got Doom and Doom and Magneto. It's like, I understood when they made that toy on the Marvel Plus show, Modoc, and he was telling jokes. We got that there. Take all that over there. But in right. a movie, we might want to, uh, I know he looks crazy, oh, but it's crazy. like when the X-Men franchise came out, and they wanted to put everybody in black leather because they couldn't understand the designs of the X-Men costumes being taken seriously. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then we went through this big phase where every superhero's costume was made eight shades darker so that Hollywood could accept them. If you don't like comic books, go write your ass a Western. We don't need you in the comic <laughs> book genre. Facts, facts, You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Respect the craft, respect the art form, or get the fuck out. Tell them. And how is it that a, 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 a studio like Kevin Feige's MCU could do this? This is some DC shit where you would, well, I can't even say this is some DC shit because Warner Brothers don't get down like that. Warner Brothers doesn't hire, hire clowns who do goofy bullshit. They hire real art, nah, artistic even, even motherfuckers, bro. If films failed or bombed in a sense, it was a still, serious it movie. It was still serious. It was, and, 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 Batman vs Superman was still serious. Can I keep it? Even, even though it yeah. was like, what are we watching? It was. It was. It was very, whack. Very dark tone. But that is, I could say that BBS was made with quality. It's just trash. What was it? The most, the, the, the most jokey thing we really got outside of Lex Luthor was the the peach tea, Grandma's peach tea. Yeah. Or the Jolly Rancher bit. And the, yeah, the yeah, Jolly yeah, Rancher was, bit. Those, like, that was about it. Yeah. So, but, yeah, guys. Yeah, this is this has been... Uh, the question I have for what? you for is this. Would you rather a lighthearted, mediocre movie or a trash, serious film? <laughs> I'm going to take a trash, serious film. Because at least something is... I'm, 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 there's still something to be invested about. Kind of, right? There's still why, something why, there. What about you, Sam? Would you do that same thing? I don't know, but this is why anime is kicking comic books ass. <laughs> anime is putting in work. God damn. Shout out to the pain arc. <laughs> Jody no pain. Oh, I know pain. I know pain. Fuck. Patreon.com slash Jody's Corner. Go ahead, man. You ain't, you ain't lying. <laughs> because they take the art form serious. They don't care if it's 300-foot zombie monsters with their ball sacks hanging out. They don't out. care if it's a big titan scraping on his ribcage of bones on the dirt. This is the world. This is the rules of this yes. world. And we're going to follow those rules and respect them while we're in. You Facts. don't go to somebody's house and put your feet on the couch unless you're Dave Chappelle doing a skit. Hey, bro. I got something and to tell you. And they just said, fuck my couch. 
my son in the seventh grade going to junior high. All of them watch is anime, bro. <laughs> they not talking about Batman and Superman, dog. And Spider Man and Marvel in DC. Yes. It's Time, anime. Times have Why? Because yes. comic books is comedy. It's times anime, dog. You get better. You better. You better step up on these comic book motherfucking characters and these cartoons. Yeah, they want mangas and anime. It's gonna be they hard for y'all to get them back. See you. You still got us. Us uh, over. You better cater to us. Stop us bullshit. Over thirty five. Feige, still you going. dumb motherfucker. You catering to children and they don't even freaking give a shit about the MCU. They want anime. You gonna lose them. Jojo ain't asking for superhero shit. He, he, I'm going to freaking zoomies and shit, looking at the is, freaking anime counter. This is not a, uh, it's not a, a new pattern that the MCU is doing. It, MCU has always been somewhat jokey, but it's always had its serious, very, very serious portions. Right Iron now, Man one, was, yeah, but even right now, even Iron Man two and Iron Man, 3, they were supposed to be serious, but there was there was some jokes up in there. But of course, right, that's right. that's Stark and what he's doing. Now. Right, right. But we've got all these new shows. Outside of WandaVision, which was serious but not to be taken serious, they have a lot of jokes and they're not as serious as they need to be. The closest thing to we finally took something serious was um, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but there were still a bunch of jokes in there. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the most serious that. thing on Disney Plus. And yes. here's what's what's even more scary about it. And I guess I had a little hope, maybe. Okay, we're getting into the next arc of villainy for whatever it is Disney wants to do. I thought they were gonna maybe try. And maybe try and get Ant Man to be a little bit more serious. I know it's going to be jokey, but because of its, I thought the case, same thing. I thought it was going to be a little bit more serious. I thought the same thing. But I think what happened was this. Look at that title. Everybody, well, yeah, but everybody was 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 taken aback by um, Kang, the Eternals. Uh -huh. You guys want serious? You want real? Here we go. We're going to expand the universe. You think Eternals? Boom. No, 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 them. no. It was, it was, it was to be taken serious. It was real. You and me, as yeah. people who love film, we're like, no, this is real. This no, is I'm asking you. Do you think that home. the reception to Eternals made them goofy up? Ant -Man? I think it made it even. I just think it made them revert back to make it make Ant Man even goofier than. So what you think they were be. reactionary to the way Re Eternals was yes, receptive? Because even received. though I, you and me feel like Eternals was good, Everybody fire, else, fantastic, not so, amazing, not so much. A lot of people, it was most serious, people, not totally yet. was taken serious. Yeah, the, the level and scale, even though people couldn't com com completely comprehend it because we still yeah. haven't really left Earth that far. Yep. We, we've gone somewhere into the galaxy, but it's yeah. it's Guardians of the Galaxy. We ain't really gone serious in the galaxy yet. And we got mm -hmm. that, and then we come to this with Qu Quantumania, and they're just like, oh, yeah, this is great. We still get the goofiness, but then I'm like, you gave us Kang. This character was supposed to be opening it up, be way more serious. I actually like uh, Major's performance in the film. I did, too. I loved it. Yeah. And I, I see what they were doing with he it, but I don't think, seriously. I do not think. He Ant took it Man, seriously. He took that Ant trash Man script was, seriously. Ant-Man was not the per perfect villain for him to start with outside of the Loki series. Jody said Kane the Conqueror should not have been put in an Ant-Man movie. So that's you don't put him like, in like, an Ant-Man movie. You just made him not to be taken as Cause serious. Because it, it reduces his potential of being. I took it oh, seriously. Oh, okay. Right. What so, are you going to do? Yeah. You don't, the MCU, Kevin Feige has used the Ant-Man franchise as fodder since Ant-Man 1. Yes. They use him in Ant-Man 1 just to be, the, the, the to do to introduce uh, the, the quantum to go into that. They mm -hmm. used Ant-Man and the Wasp to introduce the quantum realm as the time traveling element right before Endgame and Infinity War. And now they're doing it again for Kang the Conqueror and Kang's Dynasty using the quantum realm again, I, I going deeper. I respected the, the introduction, but it's still the wrong Main character slash hero yes. that to bring us into that with. This and is it just it just lets you know yes. that okay they were not gonna take this. This is why Thor after. needs ten years before we Thor, need he, another he, Thor movie. So, so what, at what point? Tells, it says four fans. He says Modok has four fans. Four so, fans. You know how many Ant Man has eight. Tops. Thor got eleven. Yeah, you know I mean, bro. Like, we're, no, no, we're, no, no, no. He doesn't have eight because remember they all think he's Spider Man. So there's, Thank there's you, no Spider Man. That's just funny. There's I don't no laugh. You know it was no interesting to laugh. Yeah, bro. When are we gonna start to hold Kevin Feige accountable for this bullshit? We can't. We're it's looking at Victoria Alonso, Kevin Feige, these producers. What the freak going on? No, it's done. And Tiger Watini's the one that started this shit. No, they'd have to actually have a film bomb as bad as BBS. It has to be. This is supposed to be a two bit guaranteed two billion, one point five billion dollar film, and it bombs. Kang's That's Dynasty. The only way they don't know. Kang's Dynasty has no, to. No, if no. Kang's Dynasty doesn't hit a billion. That's an epic failure. Sure, if that was one film. But Kang's Dynasty right now is going to be a stretch of films. 
So they're going to make whatever cash they can off of that. I hope it's not. I thought it was just going to be just Dynasty and then it's going to be something else with Avengers No, because 6. there's so many different versions of him. Uh, so bro, I'm, wrap I'm this looking, motherfucker hey, look, up. Look, I'm looking at his dynasties, not just the films. What he's doing with Loki series uh, season two. I'm going to spoil it. It's a waste of Jonathan Major. By the way, BG4, you agreed. are an MCU hater for saying these things. I want you to know. That's what, that's what the MCU fanboys would say to you for saying what you and you said, Sad, and me. We're all MCU haters. Wait, wait, wait. We're MCU haters because we're critiquing mm -hmm. something that we think is trash. And we can obviously mm -hmm. show you why it's trash. Because yeah. we wasn't doing this before. We were When we were praising Marvel, uh, like Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, we uh -huh. all had a discussion about how much we liked that movie. Uh-huh. Okay. We were haters then? Yes, we were haters How about then. it's just not good, my dude? It's just not good. They can't Here's decide the whether it's children's movies or not. They, they oh, they're me, children's movies. They want me to bring my little kids. Yes. And, and, and All into the grandma. That's it. This is not trolls and Lego movie. This was a whole nother genre that you could have approached with a fresh look, a fresh lens, as they say, and gotten the world. I mean, the, the numbers were there. But you just you're throwing it all away. You're throwing out the baby with the bathwater. They haven't yet deciphered the difference between entertainment and a really good film. I could sit there and say, yeah. sure, Quantum Mania right, was right. very entertaining. But it I wasn't. Got to, no, 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 no. I got you. No, though. because because of what, what I'm saying in my I head. You. I mean, oh wow, this quantum world, this mini mini world right here. I'm watching Kang, who's supposed to be this supreme being who's going to be dominant and escape the quantum world right now and go cause chaos. He's being beaten down by living dildos who are shooting at his empire. I'm just like, wow, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually entertaining. Look at that penis right there. Oh, <laughs> man, he's, oh, he's going to take down those shields. Look out. He's stomping out his, 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 his soldiers and everything like that. This is amazing for me. Uh, this is actually pretty entertaining. I'm and Modoc, and he's got a little butt and everything. All right, good. <laughs> it's, a little butt, it's, yeah. It's, it's, all right, but it's, it's, I, I'm not taking it serious. I don't consider it. I'm not. You won't call that a good film. I'm putting the, I'm, I don't even call them. I don't even call them films. They're I'm, movies. Even and, and it's the same thing. Look, Ragnarok was actually very entertaining and thing, but I'm still putting it. Yeah, at the bottom. I'm, I'm, I'm right there with. I'm still putting it at the bottom, and I know Ragnarok. you and me would have this. I'd put. Yeah. Thor 2 Dark World wow. over Ragnarok. I don't knock you, dog. It so should it's, be. It's just, that's as a Thor movie, as a superhero movie, it should be there, down there. There, there, was something uh, on the, there was something on the line in part two. Then they were fighting for something. Mom is dead. Loki and Thor get on the same page. I can't see anything from Kang and Quantumania right now. Right. I, I want to see what Kang does. I, but what they did with this film just makes me say, okay, MCU, you know what? Yeah, I, I, can I, I ask you, because you haven't been around, how do you feel about the MCU and how do you feel about Ant-Man and the Wasp after watching it? It's, it's like I said, it's up there with Ragnarok, but it didn't. It's, I don't think it's going to do the numbers. I haven't checked as as Ragnarok did. It's not that entertaining. Yeah. Um, Let's check the. It's box just. A, it's just a. It's a filler. It's fluff to me. Do you have a grade for it? It's passable, as in like D plus C minus passable. It's not something I'm going to go recommend. I'm just like, yeah, I saw it. It's it's. I'm invested in the MCU, and I just want to make sure that I am in line with everything that's going on. They're not funny enough to be a full comedy. No. But they're not serious enough to be a superhero movie. Like, it's like if I They're not even hiring comedians. Like, it's, it's, make Jim Carrey Plastic Man if, if that's I, what you're um, going for. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If I start an anime. Oh, not looking I'm good for. I mean, they got 370 million worldwide, and this movie has been out for three weeks now? Uh, February 15th? Yeah, pretty much over a little over a month now. Oh, whoa. Almost a month. What is this? What's the day? February 15th, the page the 3rd of March, right? 3rd or 4th of March. So we're talking three weeks. This week, yeah. this is weekend number three. And they're looking at three set. Uh-oh. Yeah, Don't look like good, good for their box yeah, office, it's, dog. It's, it's this look like it might settle around five, five and a half? So you're doing a little, Six? So what is this? You're doing a little bit better than BVS, but you're not doing good as, um, Doctor Strange. How much did it cost? Multiverse of Madness. Two hundred like million dollars. So sure, fine. They're in the black, but sure, they're in yeah. there. Yeah, that's it's not that impressive. Still, oh, that don't look good for a phase five kicker offer. But ultimately, dog, Kevin Feige, you needs to hold some blame here, dog. You better get it. Like I said, bro, and this is because I'm a Marvel fan. Where I say this, get y'all shit back together because it's not popping right now. When you got writers coming out here saying like Feige, I feel like the old Feige would never have done this. A writer coming out saying stupid shit. Tiger Watiti saying, I didn't read no Thor comics for this movie I made, That's Ragnarok. Awful. Feige was on Joss Whedon's head. And the other motherfucker before Feige was on his head about uh, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. 
They were on his head about some of the things you can't say. Shit, shut up. But Jody Joe, yeah. you know how when you raising kids, your first kid has the hardest, and by the sixth kid, you like let him run on and play in the street. I God dang, that's a good analogy. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's what it is. Huh? We're just letting this kid run wild. It's Getting on tired, autopilot. He's getting, he's no, a, yeah, that's why I said it's yep. too late. You have to have cruise a really control. big bomb. Has to be he's a in really the Tesla. He's in the Tesla and hit cruise control. That's what it feels like. Because this wouldn't have happened year one, year two, Kevin Feige. What is Infinity War made a billion? This right? is the in Feige we yeah. trust. Okay. What if Infinity War only made three hundred and forty million dollars and we got Thanos company. That's what I'm talking about. It has to bomb Whoa. like that. I don't think it has to do that bad. No, I think so. That's death. Look, 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 look. We if an to, Avengers we movie we makes have, that little, it's over for the the MCU's been dead. We had to have BVS. We had to have Justice BVS League. BVS made almost eight hundred million made almost nine hundred million. But we said we said it's supposed to be a two billion dollar yeah, yes. film no. Yes, but BVS didn't even flop as bad as you as you still, as but, you're, still but fifty percent uh, that's still not uh, come on, it's it's not fifty percent ain't three hundred nothing million. I know, I got you, but I'm saying just essentially you got to have a bag fly. Not, I I'm think not, I think an Avengers bag, movie making percent. seven eight hundred million dollars is terrible. Now, yes, I think that's enough. Now, yes, I think that's enough for Feige to be like, you know what I'm saying? It turned to a cartoon, Roger the Rabbit, big <laughs> eyes and shit, start tripping out. But we're we're all we're, we're all captive, and it is definitely. He went in out right there. Yeah, he went out there. I ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> Five ain't worried about nothing. He ain't worried about nothing. I'll go over here. Five ain't worried about nothing. This is, this is what it is. We are absolutely captive. No, no. Where you going, Sam? We was good. We was we buddies. I'm not. I'm just... Ain't worried right, about nothing. There it is, y'all. Five ain't worried about nothing. Five ain't worried about nothing. Spot to the Jody's corner. Yeah. Five ain't worried about nothing. Fuck ain't worry about nothing. Subscribe, baby. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh.